for the last couple podcasts and hyper vlogs and videos I, we've said that our camera is in for repairs. Well, we just got it back. I sort of opened it, but I didn't fully open it so we could capture that on the hyper vlog. Like I opened the box to make sure it's in there and it, it indeed is, is in there. Aha. They packaged it. This is like the anti opening video because it's not new. Whoa. Eh, wait a second. Well, that's nice. They fixed this, and I didn't even send that in to get fixed. What is it? So the shoe microphone here, uh, starting the summer of 2011, had become really loose to where there was a gap here, and I was like, well, I don't want sand or stuff getting in there, so I just taped it around. Oh, nice. It yeah. took the tape off, and it's not loose at all. Like, if I used to just touch it like this, it would jiggle a bunch. So thanks, Canon. Oh, look at that. They even cleaned the recorder for me. That's nice. This is a tape camera, so sometimes those gears get messed up and dirty and I already have a battery in there so let's just test it. The problem was that the speaker would not play sound back so we couldn't review sound on set unless we were using headphones which you should be using anyways but sometimes everybody wants to hear. Oh look you can hear me. Yes we can. No I mean you can hear me. Oh right right right. Yeah. Like here. Yeah, yeah, in this no, room. No, like here. In this room, you, like, I can you can, hear like, you. like, here. Yeah, I can hear you talking to me right but now. But me. Yeah, you. Who else is in here but us? <laughs> Electronic mail is a mysterious thing wherein one person can type a message, hit a button, and through processes we humans cannot fully understand, that message shows up on this phone. And this message is from Leah Cueo who is a big fan of Twin Peaks. Leah, we could not read your entire, entire uh, dissertation on the show, on the podcast, but I'm gonna do my best log lady impression. This isn't even a log. This is my, a wooden bed beam from my bed that is broken. And we're gonna read what you had to say, because we appreciate you emailing into the podcast. Freaky, fresh, murder. Log, logging, coffee, cherry pie, midgets, music. Those are the things that come to mind when I think of Twin Peaks. I am obsessed with this show, and the pilot is without a doubt one of the best pilots in TV history. What starts out as a procedural about the murder of a young girl turns and developed, devolves into the revelations of a small town's grimy underbelly and grisly secrets. But did I mention it's hilarious and scary? Sexy beast Kyle McLaughlin is our entryway into this specific northwest town, and I would not have it any other way. His commentary on the bizarre and unexplained is perfection. The man loves his coffee and cherry pie and Twin Peaks serves it the damn best. The music by Angelo Badalamenti cements the tone as a mix of melodrama, quirk, true emotion, and utter absurdity. So we don't care who murdered Laura Palmer, we just want to know what the hell is wrong with this town. This is Lynchian magic combined with primetime TV gold way ahead of its time. It subverts yet combines so many genres in a way that was never seen before. It creates characters that could be easily categorized and labeled, but that would be ignoring the amazing performances of every actor. Their choices under the direction of David Lynch are crazy. What could be seen as over-the-top bad acting is genius and purposeful. Literally no actor could get away with that insanity on TV today. The show was ahead of its time, yet an anomaly for any time. Just to prove my obsession, I've traveled to the locations in Washington State, stood where Laura Palmer's body washed up on the shore, gazed down at the waterfalls that eerily summon us into the opening credits, and sipped and chowed down on a cup of coffee and a slice of cherry pie from the Twin Peaks Diner. I may even be the log lady for Halloween this year. Watch the pilot and maybe even the rest of the show and you will understand. Sent from my iPhone. If you want to hear your thoughts on our podcast, send them into F-U-A Rock at F-U-A Rock Podcast? No, F-U-A Rock at Gmail. F-U-A Rock at Gmail.com. Or Twitter at F-U-A Rock, F -U -A Rock Podcast. podcast. Yep. Links are here. And you'll get to hear your thoughts on our podcast every week. And yeah, subscribe and stuff and punch it.